what's going on guys hope you all are doing great today we got another special cool video i'm really excited about this because we'll be doing a keyword research with python meaning we'll create our own keyword research engine where we can check the volume of searches the regions of searches which is extremely cool so if you're into digital marketing or you're not i want to actually understand what keyword researching is and how we actually use it this is a nice tutorial for you it's a nice tutorial a great tutorial to have on your portfolio so make sure that yeah you stick to the end because i always have surprises at the end make sure you stick to the end of this video i know what with all that being said let's get to it so you can see right here that for sure we need libraries for this because for us to really do this functionality well we need good libraries and the first library we'll be importing is we'll import pandas so we see here we import pandas and then we'll say as pd the next library we'll import is we'll, we'll say from pytrend because we'll be using google trends for this we want to say dot request because we'll need to make some requests import trend with a capital T then R E Q now that we have that next thing we import is matplotlib because we'll need to show some graphical like some visual visual representation of this I don't just want you guys to see numbers I want you to actually see a chart so that's why we need matplotlib so we'll import matplotlib dot py plot because we're using a kind of graph as plt and then we'll just say trend trends is equal to trend req now that we've done this you can see that we need we're using this trend req because we're using google trend as i said earlier the next thing we're going to do in this video is we're going to actually start the like keyword we're going to check by region so for sure we need to put the topic that we want to actually search for in this case since this is kind of like python and data science we're going to be searching the keyword data science so we'll say trends dot build underscore payload and then inside here we'll say kw underscore list set that equal to in brackets data science make sure you spell data science right so you actually get the right keywords for it next we'll say data is equal to trends dot interest underscore by underscore region then we'll say print data dot sample 10 so now if we run this and this is a big error is from not prom mm -hmm. so now if we run this Number one, we shouldn't get errors. Okay, so the error is here. So we need to put the curly bracket right here because when we're referring to this function, we're calling the function. And now we can see that we actually get it all here. It's the Caribbean, Bulgaria, Togo, all the places, all the regions of Norway, and we're getting a value for each of this. So this is the first step of it next is we want a visual representation of this for sure we don't just want it to actually be there on its own so we want to create some visual representation of this so we'll say df is equal to data dot sample and i'll put 15. then i'll say df dot reset 
reset index and then we'll say dot plot now plot x equals to geo name y is equal to data science yeah excuse me for that dog barking i don't know whenever i record they bark it's really annoying but you know what dogs also have freedom of speech so yeah size is equal to 120 and then 16 and then kind is equal to a bar strings and string form so we do it like this and then next we'll say plt is plt dot show so because we want to actually show it now i'm seeing an error somewhere here with this red squiggly line so i'm just going to check it again plot and then we have x equals to this and this is not supposed to be a full stop it should be a should be a comma and now we can see it's gone if we run this we should get our board looking nice and cool now you can see right here we get the board for the places that actually are not zero so which is extremely cool and this is what all the companies that are charging people loads of money are doing actually is they just create visual representations of the number some don't even create visual representation of the number so this is just showing you how cool this is it so next thing we're going to do is we're going to say trends dot trending search then we'll say pn is equal to let's use india loads of population then we print data the head 10. you can see our visual representation it's a little bit different now we've got data science we've got germany utria ukraine and here you can see we also have different other suggestions and all that so this will be live on my patreon page and now I want to do some google keyword suggestions we actually want to get some suggestions out of this so after us searching like programming or something i want to get suggestions relate like um stuff related to programming and the way we'll do that is we'll say keyword dot trend trends dot suggestion Now we'll say keyword is equal to programming. And then we'll say data dot is equal to PD dot data frame and then keyword. Now we're going to print We're going to print data dot head. And this is, shouldn't be dot, it should be equal to. can see right now when we cancel that then we get the different keyword suggestions for this quite right it's really rambling on i'm seeing football suggestions but you can also see software engineering computer engineering broadcast programming python c these are all the suggestions that we actually want from this program and yes guys that's it for this tutorial if you enjoyed it please leave a like subscribe to the channel it's completely free it takes a second so make sure you do that if you have any comments or if you have any, if your program is not working well, or you have any inquiries, anything, just put it down in the comments below. And yeah, that's about it for this tutorial. And I'll see you all on the next one.